What up, guys? We're on the next episode. Oh, Rachel, shit. Oh, I mean, word. who could have done something like 64? this? 64? She looks kind of good for 64. He must have held her head down in the water until she drowned. Although we can't be 100% sure of the cause of death until an autopsy is done, but it's pretty obvious. Damn, Damn, that's gruesome. Your pal suffered the same fate she did, except in a fountain. And then came the attack on Rachel. The method of assault was identical. The killer's answer right, was so... the same, but there's nothing linking Rachel to the other victims. So then, you mean a random killer? A deranged madman? I'd say so. And look at this. She's soaking wet from head to toe. She really struggled. Oh, I see what he's trying to do. Yeah, whoever did this wasn't squeamish, that's for sure. Um, where is and he check touching? this out. She's got the same kind of marks on her ankles as well. She was tied up. The killer obviously held her captive somewhere. There's still a mark on her face where her mouth was covered with duct tape. Is well, Granny one of the other dudes? Guess, but it doesn't look like she's been dead very long. <laughs> call Gosh, me. poor Rika. Why would anyone commit such an atrocity? You know why. Hey, isn't this the bathroom that you went to when you left to use the toilet with Nani and Mr. Hibbler? Yes. Well, do any of you remember seeing or hearing anything unusual when you went? No, not me. We took turns, of Sketchy. course. Sketchy. One of us oh was using my. the bathroom, the other two were waiting outside. But I don't remember anything suspicious. After Nani and I finished, Donald suggested that we go make coffee. So we both went to the kitchen. But I'm not sure what happened after that. I Cohen, uh... That's how you managed to break away from the others so you could kill Reka, isn't it, Donald? What? Clinton, stop! It probably took them a good six minutes to make the coffee. That would give you <laughs> the just time to retrieve Reka from wherever you had her tied up and bring her back to the bathroom and murder her. Tell me if I'm getting warm, Donald. Is that how it happened? No, not <laughs> true. I swear I didn't do it. He couldn't have done it. Ew. He's not the killer. Huh? I'm no Wait, expert, what? but I can tell that Rake has been dead for at least an hour, maybe two. That means she had to two. be murdered somewhere between 5 a.m. and 6 a.m. But Donald used the bathroom just a few minutes ago. He couldn't have done it. And the same thing can be said to back up Nani and young Mr. Stewart here. They just disappeared for five minutes to make coffee, but the murder took place between five and six, and they were with me in the family room from four to seven. Hmm. Nani and Mr. Hibbler and Stewart were all with me, which narrows the suspects to two people. The two that were unaccounted for during the time of the murder. You two, Dirk and Coburn, that is them two. Quentin Mafune. Uh -huh. <laughs> but <laughs> if that's true, then you have your man. Mr. Copeland here has to be the murderer because I didn't do it. This is a hard one, bro. I was in my room the whole time. <laughs> That I saw oh, he's going to say he saw him walking? And go somewhere at 6 a.m. Yeah. The time of the murder. Quentin, is that the truth? Yes. <laughs> I was feeling tired, so I went to wash my face in the bathroom on the second floor. I wonder. The second floor bathroom is right next to the stairway. You didn't happen to take a little detour to commit murder now, did you, Quentin? Of course mm, not. I don't trust his ugly face. <laughs> but you're right, Cole. He's nervous. No one can account for my whereabouts during a time of a murder. But I feel like he didn't do it. Goes for you. I never saw you once the entire time we were upstairs. You could have been anywhere at any time. Mm. Enough, children. You're not helping matters. <laughs> now listen up. As far as I'm concerned, you're both suspects till I say otherwise. Now, why don't we have a little chat mm. about exactly what you've both been doing for the last three hours? This is a difficult one. Richard I'm not getting enough alarm. clues. The time of death was definitely between 5 and 6 a.m. There's no doubt wow, about it. Most likely one of those two men standing right there is a murderer. With the grandma. Her. How did her clothes Can't trust so that old lady. She soaked from head to toe. She wouldn't get that wet no matter how hard she struggled. Huh? Yeah. Tape marks on her legs. Now why would the killer tape her legs if they were already tied with rope? So you're saying that between why? 3 and 7 a.m. you were in your room the entire time. You never left. Exactly. And you're claiming that you left your room briefly only once to wash your face in the upstairs bathroom. Yes, that's right. Detective? Hmm? I don't understand how the killer was able to hold Reka hostage all night. We searched every inch of this house. How could we have missed Reka if she was tied up somewhere? It doesn't make sense. That's true. She should have turned up. Our group is the one that searched the bathroom. It was perfectly clean at that time. Everything was in order. Yeah, and no Reka. The tub was empty. 
You must have kept her somewhere outside, like maybe in the woods. Oh, oh, because it was raining, right? The killer needed a place that was no? easy to get to, like maybe in the trunk of a car. It wouldn't be hard for the killer to get to one of the cars parked out front. You two shouldn't have gone off on your own. Now neither of you can account for where you've been. One of you actually stayed in your room, but the other one left to commit murder. And since my daughter I mean, was a target, there's no rhyme or reason. No motives, just a twisted mind committing murder for kicks. I wonder about Yeah. That. Richard's making a logical conclusion after the attack on Rachel because she's never met these people before. But it's not for I kicks. I th One thing I don't understand is why the killer kept Rake a hostage before he murdered her. Why didn't he just do it right away? And why, why am I not smart, bro? Why here? If the killer really had Rekha stashed in the trunk of his car, why would he bring her all the way in here? Exactly. There would be less chance of being seen if he used the fountain outside, and he wouldn't have had to fill up the tub. Uh, Will you behave yourself for once? Oh, the shower nozzle's on. Wait a second. Wait. Why shower? Why was it on? I get it now. So that's the killer's No, I don't get it. He created Wait, a trick what? of time. Why didn't I see it before? It makes perfect Wait, sense what? now. The drenched clothing, the tape marks on the legs, the reason he attacked Rachel in the kitchen earlier, and the reason that he held Rekha captive and then killed her at a later time. Yes, I see the common thread now. So no, I don't. You're the one who casually killed two of your supposed friends and almost killed Rachel. Uh, but how do bitch, I how? It? There's no proof he did any of it. How did he, how did he know? <laughs> Evidence. <laughs> Can I know too? <laughs> Little nuisance. I'll let you get wet. Wait, get wet? Yes, that Who's must wet? be it. Well, there's nothing more we can do here. Let's wait in the living room together until the car comes for us. Rachel's still in there sleeping. She shouldn't be left alone. Not yeah, so I wouldn't have left her alone. What are you talking about, detective? What? No. Wait, what? <laughs> Yeah, he did it. No, how is it even possible, bro? It was supposed to jump, fall in the bathtub. To do? Are you serious? Dead serious. But to verify it, I'll need you all to cooperate. Please take your jackets off and toss them here. Forget it. This is ridiculous. Um, Quentin, please. So us? Remember that this is for Rekha. If handing our coats over will help him nab the killer, then why not? Okay, so look. I don't know. I, I, you know what? I give up. I give up. I don't know. Now check the I don't know. And tell us who did it. I'm still calling. It was the old lady with someone else? Oh, so, I was right after all. It was you. You're the one responsible for the horrible death of an innocent girl. Wait, who's whose damn freaking coat thing was? Was it? Um, I'm guessing yeah. it was... First you murdered Mr. Sloan by drowning him in the fountain outside. Then oh, I forgot about my daughter that. He and died. carried her into the kitchen where you attempted to drown her in the sink. And yeah, bitch, that's where you Ray fucked up. Right here in this bathroom. You've had a busy evening. Isn't that right, Mr. Hibbler? <laughs> oh. Well done. He was... Is this the truth? What? He no. was the one that I least expected. Come on, detective. Do I look like a killer? Let's go back to the first murder. Kind of. Remember, we were all in the woods looking for Miss Rekha. Mr. Sloan was like still weave. alive at the time. Now then, if I, I mean, recall I'm a, I'm correctly, he too. was in the same search party as Hibbler and Mr. Copeland, right? The three of you then decided to split up in the woods so you could cover more ground. Once Mr. Copeland was out of sight, Hibbler doubled back and rejoined Steve Sloan in the woods, and the two set off to the fountain together. He probably told Sloan that he saw someone suspicious by the fountain. Once there, Mr. Hibbler made his move. He attacked Sloan from behind and drowned Dude. him in the fountain. It sounds like you're reaching to me, Detective. After all, Mr. Copeland was in the <laughs> you're woods, reaching. too. Why not him? Besides, it's absurd that I would kill Steve and Rekha, but it's even more preposterous that I would attack your daughter, Rachel. I didn't even know her until last night. And wasn't I with you when the power went out right before she was attacked? How could I have turned the power off? It doesn't make sense. I would have needed an accomplice to do something like that, wouldn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, let me be right. 
No, it please. wasn't necessary to Fuck. have someone turn the power out. You did it on your own. I thought I was right about the complex. All the air conditioners and appliances at once. It wouldn't be hard to do this. You just had to preset all the air conditioners in the house to come on at the same time. The time that you wanted the blackout to occur. The next step was to turn Smart. the microwave on and to set the timer so that it was running when all of the ACs kicked on. Having the microwave running and all of the ACs turning on at once was sufficient to cause an overload and trip that the That saxophone, pressure. right? And there's proof of this. All of the AC remotes are still set to half past midnight Going hard. at the time of the blackout. And Conan said that he heard a strange sound after the power went out. Tell him what you heard, Conan. Well, I heard a ding. <laughs> it was like a bell. It was the timer going off on the microwave. It still counts down even when the power's off. I've, I'm so stupid, bro. The oven later. It was still warm from being on so long. Wait a second. Now then, when the blackout <laughs> occurred, you smashed out the window in the hallway to make us think that the killer had escaped and bolted off into the woods. You knew Was there any clues leading to him, bro? You used the opportunity to carry Rachel from the living room to the kitchen where you tried to drown her in the sink. But before you did that, you drugged her coffee with sleeping pills to make sure she wouldn't struggle. While Rachel was getting groggy, you were searching for Miss Rako with Conan and me. We had just finished looking in the kitchen right before the blackout. That's when you doubled back and turned the microwave on. A little added insurance that the power surge would be enough to trip the breakers. But Bro! Something. I was with you when Rako was killed. We were in the living room together. How could I yeah, but you Rika killed her before. I cards with you. You said that she was killed between 5 and 6 a.m., so I'm in the clear. Surely the that one has to do with something with the water, right? All three incidents, don't you think? There can't be two killers on the loose. I hate to disappoint you, but you have the wrong guy. Donald's right, Detective. He was with us. You said yourself that Rekha was killed between 5 and 6. Wow, and we were both together with Donald from 3 to 7. And there's something else that doesn't add up either. You said earlier what coin, that the killer drugged Rachel's coffee, but I don't understand how. When Nani served the coffee, we all chose randomly from her tray, including Rachel. How did the killer know she was going to pick that particular cup? It seems like anyone could have picked it up, even the killer himself. You're right, Michael. The killer could have picked it. But the solution for him was simple. He didn't drink any coffee. But that doesn't explain how he drugged her daughter. How did he arrange for her to get that particular cup? Actually, in this case, there was nothing to arrange. The killer didn't care who drank it. <laughs> Are you Wait, what? Didn't care who his next victim was? Exactly. It could have been what a murderous one. piece Whoever of shit. Enough to drink from that cup. It didn't matter if it was a man or woman, since they'd be too drowsy to fight. Isn't that right, Mister? Wow. Hitler? So these are dude. You know what? After all, guys. If dude, fuck me, you, bro. Come on. Do Piece I seem of like shit. the kind of guy that would randomly kill one of you with no motive at all? No. You yeah, don't. you look like a psychopath. But I don't believe that you ever meant to kill the person that you drugged. You see, if you had really wanted Wait, to kill Rachel, you would have never carried her into the kitchen. You would have just done it. This incident was different. You just wanted a witness. Someone to say that they were held underwater Ooh, by their up. assailant. <laughs> you wanted to establish that the killer's M.O. was forcibly drowning his victims. You thought if you had a witness to testify to this, that people would assume that Reka was killed in the same way. What do you mean by that? I don't understand. Reka wasn't drowned? No, Reka drowned all right. I'm saying that she was drowned differently, that she wasn't forcibly held underwater. <laughs> Think about the way things unfolded. Reka turned up missing last night a little after 10 p.m. But it's clear yeah. that she was murdered somewhere between 5 and 6 a.m. Doesn't it seem yeah. strange that the killer waited seven or eight hours to commit the murder? And why are Rekha's clothes completely soaked through? She would never get she that, no matter though. how hard she struggled to keep her head up. And then there are the tape marks. Why would the killer bind her with tape when she was already tied up? The answer to this puzzle lies above. I'm talking about the shower. The shower? That's right. Where I come from, people use the faucet to fill up a tub. It's only common sense. But yeah. when Conan turned the water on earlier, the water came out of the shower, not the faucet. Ken, which means that the killer filled up the tub with the shower head. That way, the tub filled up quietly. Once the shower head was submerged, it was totally silent. I'm gonna be he real with you. I'm. This is going over my head. To the bottom of the tub, so she would drown automatically when the water got hot. Wow. 
When Reka was coming down from her room last night at 10 o'clock, Mr. Hibbler must have grabbed her and knocked her out, then carried her right here to this tub where he rigged up his little trick. This he big. carefully adjusted the flow of the water so she wouldn't actually die until 5 or 6 the next morning. Of course, he made oh. sure that he was with us at that time so he'd have a perfect alibi. So she he killed, she got Angus, killed slowly? When he sent the others off to make coffee, he disposed of the tape on Reka's body. That's fun. simple <laughs> operation by itself, but with the other plot, it was a real juggling act. Other plot? That's right. Not only did he have Reka in the tub, but he also had to worry about creating the blackout and getting away with the fake drowning attempt in the kitchen. He had his hands Bro, that's too much right. work. And then there was the possibility that Reka would be found in the tub and that all his efforts would be in vain. No doubt he was sweating over that one. He had shorted the lights out in that area, so nobody would want to use that bathroom. But when we conducted the search, his plans were in jeopardy. Mr. Hibbler was skating on thin ice as we searched the bathroom, but he cleverly made sure that he was the one who checked the tub. All clear. She's not in here. The oh. The one who checked the bathtub is oh, also a clear indicator that he's big. the perpetrator. <laughs> I guess that would be true if I don't like him. killed in the way you described, but there's no proof of that. I really don't it's like him. clever guesswork. It's a fascinating His voice, theory, his right. face. And the way you put it is very believable. But no one saw me do any of the things that you say I did. It's all supposition. You did it. You're right. I needed proof. That's Psycho. Why I all of you remove your jackets. Then hurry up and check them for goodness sake. Come on. But you won't find what you're looking for. I guarantee it. Well. Hey, you need I to calm down, to bitch. Jackets off so I could check them. I actually wanted to check your shirts for water stains. That's my proof. Yeah. We look into the mess. Got there when he washed his hands after using the bathroom. The water on Quentin's collar I got is from none. when he washed his face in the sink. But you, Mr. Hibbler, have watermarks halfway up your sleeves on both sides. How did you get those? Yeah. Uh, what? These? The same way those two got theirs. Then why aren't they in the same place? Come on, Hibbler. Yeah. You didn't get those washing your face Hurry up. or your hands. The only way you could get watermarks there is if you took your coat off. That's right. You took yeah. off your coat. Why? Because you didn't want it to get wet when you pulled Reka's body out of the tub. Isn't that right, Mr. Hibbler? Yeah, what you got to say, huh? Way up your arm because you had your sleeves rolled up. Correct me if I'm yeah, wrong, stay Mr. Quiet. Hibbler. But why? Yeah, stay quiet, why bitch. Do such a thing. In each of the murders, his victim was drowned. This is no coincidence. Because sure he was in love with that girl, right? An accident that occurred at sea two years ago. I think I'm at least right for that. With that, all right. But it was no accident. Sonya was murdered by Reka and Steve. <laughs> Wait, I what? See it as clear as day. I can even taste the really? in my mouth as I yelled at Sonia to come back. She said that she had her life vest on and that she'd be all right. And she packed the vest to bring to Reka. Sonia didn't know that Steve was on the island, too. Reka and Steve both had life vests on when they were rescued later. Neither of them had one when they left the boat. So, you mean Sonia's vest? They, they took it! They took hers and the one she brought for Reka and they left her to die. Sonia left to save really? her, and they killed her. And then they both lied about it. When the rescue team found Sonia's body the next day, she didn't have her life jacket on. And yet Steve and Raker claimed that Sonia never reached them. What if they wow. were telling the truth? Did you ever think of that? Yes, I considered that, so I had a little chat with them before I killed them. They both confessed. The two of them murdered the only woman I ever loved. Damn. That woman didn't have a You know what? She deserved that. They deserved it. Hey, you know what? Good shit. You stop it! No child on this earth deserves to die in such a terrible way. What do you mean? She carried, knowing she had a hand in Sonia's death. Not to say you think she cared? But when someone dies, someone will always mourn. No one should go through the pain I felt for the past two years. No matter. Granny. Granny, whatever, Granny, whatever, Granny. I'm I'm on the side of the guys with the the guy with the glasses. Obviously, he's a psychopath, but yeah, they deserve to suffer, bro. Like that's the what was her name? Sonia, I think. Like she went out to like help him, bro. Like in the middle of a storm that she knew that she could die, and they just did that to her. You know what? Like how how like um. Like horrible feeling she was like she was feeling um so what's that word um oh my god it's an easy word i don't know i can't remember it um 
like, um, she was feeling so much despair in that moment, you know, when she's looking at them, like, leaving, and then she's drowning, like, nah, they deserve that, I'm sorry, and, I, and obviously, I'm saying that because the anime, you know, I mean, but in real life, too, all right, um, all right, let's see, mm, wait, where is it, I think it's right here, Oh my gosh, what a maniac. So he tried to drown you too? Uh-huh. I like her. I, I like her. I, I don't know why, I like her. Crazy. The only thing I do remember is that Jimmy appeared out of nowhere and saved me. What? At least what? she saw that. You know, at least you she think that. Jimmy Kudo just showed up at the Gilmore's and saved your life? Yep. They said it was the drugs, but I know it really happened. <laughs> That's cute. Conan's right. Jimmy couldn't have saved me like that. It's too romantic. Yeah, he's loose, <laughs> but when it comes to girls, it doesn't get any lamer than Jimmy. <laughs> so this is how they talk when they think I'm not around? <laughs> they actually like me. That's funny. That's cute. That's cute how she... Damn, man. I want them to just, like, you know, be together already, bro. Like, that's crazy. Thinking about, like, it, they actually go for over, like, 900 episodes. Like, doing this... <laughs> that's crazy all right guys i love you um thank you for watching 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 uh watching y'all the best and um leave a like if you enjoyed and yeah so y'all the best for real i love you and until next time peace